Welcome back to episode 2 of One Life with your host, me, Wintertooth100. You might be able to see in the top left hand corner there, it says recording. I am about to do a time lapse for you guys. I am literally picking up right where I left off from the last episode. As you can see, it's getting dark already. So I am going to do a quick time lapse for you guys. I'm going to try to clean up this area and get some farms going and maybe start up some walls and round up these donkeys. So, wish me luck. Let's see how well this time lapse works. I've watched that time lapse back four or five times and every time it makes me dizzy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that thing made me dizzy. <laughs> so I rounded up a couple of the donkeys, just a nothing special, just a just a little cage. Uh, they were get, get, getting in the way, especially the one that was hanging out over here. Uh, I've done a little more work than what you saw in the time lapse, but the time lapse got to being about an hour and a half long before I started editing it and the playback or the replay mod uh, starts to act up a lot on me when I let it go that long so I wrapped that up and did a little bit more work but I only did the uh, like the farm stuff so just an extension of what you guys have already seen so let's go through it first of all this dirt hut will be gone it will just be this house but we go through and I added an you know, a second block on top of some of these grass or leaf blocks uh, just to make it look like these bushes are, are growing. Um, but we come through and I made a mistake. I tilled all this down, but I think this is just going to be a field of what are these lilacs or whatever. Uh, it's just going to be a field of that coming through here and then uh, on the other side of this path, I think I made the same mistake. I tilled all this down. And I think this is just all going to be uh, rose bushes. Uh, originally, I planned for this side to be rose bushes, but I quickly found out I didn't have the space for my sugar cane to grow. So I did some uh, some research. Um, rice rice farms look a lot like sugar cane farms. Uh, if you only make them one block wide instead of two, I usually go water source, sugar cane, sugar cane, water source, and just do them in lines. But if you do them at alternating lines, they kind of look like, like rice farms. And then I saw another uh, image. Uh, it, was, it was Minecraft. Uh, somebody was placing uh, the leaf blocks in between them, and I thought it looked really good. And I also really like that... Uh, you wouldn't break these at this level, so it doesn't hurt to have them here because you're just going to come through and you're just going to whack them all out as you come across. So I thought that was pretty neat. I think that looks the best. Uh, we'll see. I'm a little curious how these will grow. Uh, I've never grown my farms immediately next to some kind of wall or barricade. Uh, and... I am not entirely certain if sugarcane will just pop like cactus does, so that'll be an interesting experiment. 
but we come through. I laid down some some path blocks through some of it, but not all of it. Um, I would have done it all, but I'd already tilled some, and apparently you can't do that to tilled land. But we got our potatoes over here, and it comes down, wraps around, and we got our carrots, and there should be a way up here, but there isn't. So let's just punch a couple of these out, and we'll plop this down. We want to make it so we never have to fall a whole block down onto uh, our farm. That way we don't break any crops. Just place these in. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm in the middle of right now is just getting all this stuff you know, spread out and plotted. I'm feeling right in here is going to be our pumpkins and melons. We'll probably do a small corner for melons. Um, I'm thinking we're going to include some kind of uh, pond or something, like a, like a small pond. Melons really like the water. Uh, but pumpkin patches are usually pretty large, so the majority of this will probably be pumpkins, even though pumpkins are by far more useless. But then we come in here, and you can see the path block, and I like the path block. And I like that it kind of leads you there, and it doesn't stand out too much. Uh, and we got these fence posts with the torches for light, and you can't walk into the water because the fence post is in the way. So I'm just in the process of filling all this up. But what I really need to do is I need to start a mine shaft. <laughs> I would really like to get out of my dirt house there, but I'm totally out of cobblestone. I used the last of my cobblestone to make these slabs, and uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel it. It's starting to hurt. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is we're going to come across over here, the other side of the house, and that that gateway we were talking about, that pathway. I think we're going to make it right here. Then it's going to come down and we're going to make a path. But then we're going to use this natural cave right here to start our mine shaft. I did a tiny bit of exploring but then I quickly barricaded it up when I heard the cries of a baby zombie and I didn't want to deal with that. So I just barricaded it up with the blocks that were in my hand at the time. So I think we're going to work on this path down here. I'm going to try to start up this cave system or this mine mine shaft so I can finish this house I think my my number one priority is going to be uh, getting that mine shaft up and going because I just I just need cobblestone I need the most basic of materials I need cobblestone so I think I'm gonna go uh, mining for a little bit and I will be back with you guys shortly I'm like four steps into this cave you think there's a spawner somewhere? Sure enough, this is where we were. And boom, spawner. I would have preferred a, a skeleton spawner, but I guess this is okay. Eh. Eh. Not that exciting. I don't know what I was hoping for, though. Back to mining. Alright, guys, I think that's gonna about wrap up this episode. Good news, the sugar cane does grow, and I kind of was setting up the outside of our mine. It needs some work still, but it's it's coming along. I, I kind of like the style. Uh, it's just kind of a repeating pattern on the inside. Uh, I've done a lot of mining, a lot of mining. Keep getting the same visual glitch right there. It goes away as you approach it. but. 37 blocks of iron so far so pretty good stuff uh, left a way to get over to the mob spawner and then down here we're just going to do a traditional uh, what kind of mine shaft do you call this strip mining a traditional strip mining uh, mine shaft you know two blocks apart so everything you mine through here you'll see this these lines of blocks and these lines of blocks so when you mine this one you'll see these lines of blocks so there's no need to actually mine these blocks so I won't do oh a piece of iron so I won't I won't do that anyway guys uh, be sure to check out my links down below patreon just as little as a dollar a month will get you rewards and 
I... Well, look at that. There's a good way to end this episode. Come on. Come on. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six? Well, there's a good way to round out this episode. Awesome. <laughs> Got our first diamonds at the very end. Sweet. All right. Well, I didn't get to building on the house, so next time we'll, we'll be working on the house. And yeah, be sure to check out the links down below, guys, and I will see you in the next one.